It's quite a challenge to be the only female in the business because it's extraordinarily heavy work. Working in a freezer is quite a harsh environment. Minus eight degrees, icicles can form in my hair. To be the only female ice carver in the UK is pretty special and I suppose it's an important role um, because to me it, it says as an individual that, that I can do the work that was predominantly set out for a man and if any other female ice carvers out there are going to emerge they should do it because it's exhilarating to be doing such hard work. Outside of ice carving and ice sculpting, I'm also trying to keep up my own practice um, of drawing and painting. Um, I do a lot of charcoal drawings, um, nice and simple, but it's, it's good to kind of get back to the 2D. I think all art stems from drawing. Essentially, ice carving is, is drawing in 3D uh, with a very interesting material. My family currently live in Australia, where um, we migrated when I was 13 years old. My parents are florists. They always question me as to where my art has come from. It's clearly from them. I love to build things, and so does my dad. And my grandfather was an architect. Architects meaning building shacks from bamboo, um, as they're originally from the Philippines. And I love composition, as that's a major part of sculpture or any sort of art form. Um, and that's come from my mum. It gets pretty lonely working in the freezer on my own. I miss my family very much, and um, it's quite hard being so far away from them, but it's for the love of art. <laughs>